We've got Bo James here. It's a 1975 GMC, and just like your truck, it came with the old style incandescent bulbs. They take a lot of power, they generate a lot of heat, not so with LED lights. Nice thing about these, they're gonna last you a lot longer. You can see this back here is all epoxy sealed. There's no way that these are gonna um, get dirt, water, or anything like that in there. They're gonna last you a lot longer. They're gonna come with more custom options than you're gonna be able to get with other LED lights. They don't just come on. You can have that option, obviously, but what I like about these is they have the sequential blinking when you're doing the turn signal or your attention braking where they'll come on and stay on. And so it looks really cool. You got a lot of different options with these. I'm gonna show you how to install it in no time at all because it's really easy. Our new LED lights are going to come with a different backing plate than the original, so we're going to need to take it off. Whenever you're taking off something like this, you always want to remember to take your lower screws out first and then your uppers. If you take your uppers off first and then you're trying to take off your lowers, the whole thing can come flopping out on you. Your light bulbs, of course, you just push in counterclockwise and it pulls on out of there. We're gonna be reusing these old sockets, so we're gonna be making sure that we take those out nice and careful. They are plastic, they are old, they are brittle, so definitely uh, take your time and be nice and gentle with them. Just get it out far enough. These here, they're just going to turn a little bit and pop on out of there like that. So these are just going to go right back in the same way. Make sure you're putting the lower one on the lower hole and upper on the upper, obviously. These will just fit in like this and then clip, turn in like that. Same thing with the upper. And then we've got this little bitty guy right here and it's going to go into this guy here. So we're going to get that in there nice and flush. We're making sure that any of our wiring is not getting bound up and um, it's all free. Get my old screws. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys in here real quick. I don't want to bore you with this, so I'll be back in one second to show you what comes next. All right, so first thing I want you to notice on the back side of your light right here is this little switch right here, and that's for your turn signals. It'll either just put regular flashing or it'll do the sequential lighting, which is really cool. Now, uh, let's say for your braking, if you don't want to have the default attention brake lights come on, which is really nice, it does kind of like the sequential light, but they'll all come on. So it'll, they'll just all bright up and it looks really cool. If you're not into that, you can disable it by hooking up this yellow wire right here. The instructions are in the uh, package. I uh, like the sequential lighting, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this little yellow wire and get it uh, wrapped out of my way. Normally I'll put some shrink wrap on this so it won't make any contact. I don't have any right now, so we'll get into that later. The next thing I want you to notice is that the ends of these, they look exactly like your light bulb. And that's because these are gonna go in exactly like your light bulb did. You're gonna to wanna to notice that there's two prongs on this one and there's only one prong on that one. That's why you have to make sure they go into the right ones. If you're not sure, all you gotta do is look in there and you'll notice that there's either one or two contact points in there. Now this little guy off to the side, you're not gonna use that anymore. It's already in the lighting system, if you will. That was your running light there. So when you're gonna install these, we're just gonna go ahead and get the right plug into the right hole. This is just, like I said, going to go in just like your light bulbs did. Uh, put it in in a quarter turn. If it doesn't go in, then just pull the light socket back out and uh, turn it 180 and then go ahead and install it. So that just sits in there just like that. I'll go ahead and put these back on. When I'm doing this, I'll always do my top screws first because if you have your top screw in and then you're called away or it lose your grip or whatever, it's not gonna fall down. If you had it in the bottom, it might do that. All right, let me get all these in here and I'll be all done. You guys make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm doing these every single week so I can show you all the cool stuff we got for your truck. And if you don't watch them, it's gonna hurt my feelings a little bit.